Okay, so I want to show you something new here in terms of what we call the access point and how you can modify it. Say, for example, let's say we have a shape here. Let's put a cube here. And you'll notice that um, right now, if I want to say, for example, rotate it, I've got the rotate tool selected. Um, it's rotating right around the exact center point of the object, right? Which is fine a lot of the time. But let's say we've changed our shape a bit here. And let's say I'm going to expand it a bit up here. And let's say I want to have it more rotate from the top, right? So I can do this. Watch what I'm going to do here. I'm going to make the object editable. So you have to click on this little uh, icon right here. It comes editable. And then you'll see, of course, that here is the axis point right here. It's still in the center. I click this little device here. It's called Enable Axis. The shortcut is the letter L. I click on L. Then what I can do is I can click someplace else on the object. And notice that, hey, the axis point just jumped up to that particular point. So now if I hit the L again, you have to be sure to turn it off. Now my axis point has changed, right? Now if I do the rotate, you can really see it here. So if I rotate it, it's no longer rotating from the center, but it's rotating from that particular point. You can imagine how useful this would be if, let's say, you're trying to animate something like a door that's opening and closing, right? You would need to have the access point be on the side. So that's really how you change the access point. Just don't forget to make your object editable and then hit the L here and then turn it on and then turn it off after you're done. That's how you do it.